Hello and welcome to another budget and leg it video. Now we are, well, we have a 2003 Volkswagen Golf. This is a diesel one, but that doesn't really matter. And we are doing, and we are doing brake lines. Now, very simple job. All you need is few basic hand tools, but what you do need is you need a big tool. Hand job. You need a big tool, which is him. If you've got a big tool like that, you can do this job. Right. All I've done is I've just cleaned this off. So I've got my air blower blown. I blew it. I blew it. Love blew it all off. And as you can see, this one actually isn't rusty, which is a good sign. So there's a couple of ways of taking this off and I'm going to show you, but hopefully it's just nice and simple. That's the connection there. And then we've got an 11 mil banjo bolt. Yeah, it's gone off again. Now, the one you have to be careful with the banjo bolt is it's hollow in the middle. So you can very easily snap it. You don't put a lot of pressure on it. Um, that's John trying to be funny. I'm going to get my light working better and then we'll continue. Right, there's a couple of different ways of taking this off. The first one is if you're lucky, you can use a normal spanner. Um, but if you do that, this has to come off really easy. If it's any ways tight, stop because you will do damage. The second way is you can use a brake line span. And as you can see the difference, they're just more closed. This little gap allows you to put it into the actual brake line and get a better grip around the actual uh, nut. Or you can use this, which is my favorite. This is essentially the same, but as you can see, this actually opens up so you can slide the brake line in, but then it closes so you've got a full spanner around it, uh, which gives you the best chance. If this doesn't work, then you're screwed. You have to cut it off or do something else and replace the line. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the spanner first. Now, what I have done, because when you're replacing the flexi brake line, when you take it off, it's going to constantly leak fluid. So what I have done is I've wedged the brake between the brake and the seat with a metal bar and the pedal is all the way down. So what I've done is I've loosened off, I did it on the other side, I loosened off the actual um, brake line and then I pushed the pedal all the way down with a metal bar and it's wedged between the pedal and the seat and that will stop any fluid coming out. So what I'm gonna do now is hopefully take this off with just the spanner. And we've been very lucky on this one, we can actually do that. The fluid coming out is what's in the line. That will stop and uh, yeah, it will stop shortly. Right, so I've undone that completely. And as you can see, it stopped leaking because it was just the fluid in the line. Now I'm gonna take off this little clip which holds the actual brake line into the holder. And I'm going to drop it on the floor. That's all it is. A very, very simple clip. This will now release the brake line from the holder, as you can see. And now all I've got to do is disconnect the banjo bolt from the caliper, which is just here. You're not going to be able to see it. I can't get the camera in, but you get the idea. You'll see it as clear as day as you're doing it. So all I'm doing is releasing this bolt. As you can see, it's a banjo bolt and it's got two copper washers on it so you get a new bolt with that so that's good and there we go now the reason we're replacing this I don't know if the camera's going to show but as you can see there is a bit of wear in there it's kind of hard to see when it's in the car but when you get a light next to it you can see it so that's that done and just put it back we put the banjo bolt on first make sure you get it I think that's John's version of a banjo he likes a film deliverance. As if you ever see deliverance. Squeal like a piggy boy. Oh. Squeal! <laughs> He's the hillbilly from uh, deliverance. <laughs> Bert Reynolds. Bert Reynolds. He was, I know he was. You're not Bert Reynolds. <laughs> You're the guy with the no teeth. The guy that said, squeal, boy! <laughs> it's either that, or you're the guy that he's getting, um, um, you know? You're the guy that's squealing. 
Now, be very careful when you tighten that. You don't want to over tighten it. Now what we need to do is get this in. There's a couple of little wings on here and this can only go in one way. So it'll only sit fully one way. You might need to twist it. Now we can see there. So just twisted it to get them little wings sat in. And then we need to push this clip back in. And just kind of hammer it home a little bit. Simple as that. And then put the brake connection back on. Now make sure you get this in right. You don't want to cross thread this, otherwise it will leak. Now, again, you want it tight and you'd be very careful tightening it with an open-ended spanner like I am because it tends to slip. And if you round the bolt, you're in trouble. But there we go. And that's it. Now we need to bleed it. And that's what we need a John for. Right, you ready? Right, what we need to do now is bleed it. And essentially, what we have to be careful of is, rather than using a spanner on this uh, bleed nipple, it looks very rusty, I'm going to use a socket because it doesn't really feel great. Um, and hopefully I can undo this. Oh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten it, undo it, tighten it, undo it, because it just it doesn't feel great. And if this snaps, we need a new caliper. So that should hopefully do it. So what you can do is you can leave this open for a few minutes, let the fluid drip out just from gravity um, and that will kind of bleed it say 60% of the way. But what we're gonna do, because we've got someone here, John, I'm gonna get him to pump the pedal. So when the pedal is hard, I'm gonna release it. He's gonna keep pressure on the pedal, go all the way down. The fluid will come out, do this two or three times, just depending until the uh, air bubble stop coming out and then it's bled. So, put the pedal down. Is it hard? Okay. Right, so now he's gonna hold it. I'm gonna release it. See all the fluid come out. That pedal's gonna go all the way down to the floor. So once it's all the way down, he's gonna tell me. And I'm gonna tighten it back up. He's gonna pump the pedal if it goes hard again. Why are you putting your stupid voice up? <laughs> right, so this is going to be the last time. Right, that's it. And now we should be bled. Pump. Solid, so that's gone solid straight away, which is a good sign. What we do need to do is when we turn the engine on, we're going to put pressure on the pedal and make sure none of our joints are actually leaking. We're going to top it up with fluid and we're going to do that. No point me showing you on camera. If one of your joints is leaking, you just tighten up a little bit more. That's all you've got to do. But that is essentially how to put a brake, uh, flexible brake line and bleed it. So look, hope it helps. Thumbs up, subscribe and all that. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram. All the links are down below. You can visit our forum and everything. If you want to help us on the GoFundMe project, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.